Now, once the crown jewel in terms of inter-Korean projects, South Korean tourists to North Korea's famous Mount Kimgang hang in the balance as Pyongyang is demanding Seoul come and tear down its facilities at the resorts that's barely been used since 2008. Atlas say Pyongyang is aiming to develop its own tourism sector and earn foreign currency, but will face a dilemma on whether to involve South Korea in this regard. Our correspondent in charge of North Korean affairs, Oh Jung-hee, has more. Pyongyang first notified Seoul late last month that it should come and demolish its facilities and that the details could be decided through written exchanges. In turn, South Korea suggested holding working-level talks and sending a team north to inspect the facilities, both of which were rejected. Seoul has been looking to create an opportunity for the two sides to meet and talk face to face. And as much as the tours began as a joint project and in view of their historical significance, but the regime has completely rejected that possibility. A North Korea expert says Pyongyang never intended to discuss and mutually agree to the tearing down of South Korean facilities. It had already made up its mind. Next year is the last year of the regime's five-year economic development plan, and the most effective way to see any substantial fruition is to boost tourism. Pyongyang has been expecting Seoul to resume Mount Kumgang tours, but that didn't happen until now, and therefore the North is very pessimistic about cooperating with the South. The North aims to finish building the Wonsan Kalma tourist area on its eastern coast by next April, and Mount Kumgang is included in this zone. It's I believe North Korea would want to work on Mount Kumgang as well and put an end to 10 years of neglect. The North wants to develop and run the tours independently and would let South Koreans come later. But this doesn't mean that the North is completely confident in its plans. Even though Mount Kumgang is very beautiful, unless there are tourists from South Korea, it'll be difficult for the North to get back its investment. In the long term, it'll be a loss that could even dry up the regime's finances. It's a dilemma for the North. Even though it wants to lead the tour business without South Korea, it won't be able to see profits. The door for dialogue with the North seems closed at the moment. And regarding what Seoul should do, experts have divided opinions. Some say South Korea should keep knocking the door and suggest a new creative way to resume the tours. Others say now is not the right time and Seoul should rather focus on securing properties at the resort. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.